There's an enormous number of interactions among species that make up the soil community. An example of one type of interaction is when organisms either concurrently colonize or simultaneously exclude each other during the breakdown of organic matter in the soil. Because soil organisms respond in different ways to environmental changes, the interactions between them are continually dynamic. Understanding how they interact requires an understanding of their individual life cycles, which may be quite different and complex. It's also important to understand how disturbance affects not only individual organisms, but the way in which those organisms contribute collectively to soil processes. The great diversity of organisms in the soil means that there are many interactions amongst them. Most of the mechanisms underlying these interactions are not well understood, but there are examples of interactions which have been successfully investigated and explained. Microorganisms involved in the breakdown of organic matter release ammonium that can be used as a source of nitrogen by nitrifying bacteria. The soil bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis produces proteins that can be toxic to other organisms, including insect larvae. Many studies, though, have demonstrated interactions, but have failed to identify the mechanism responsible for the interactions. Interactions occur between both related and unrelated species of soil organisms, and not all are of mutual benefit to the interacting organisms. There's great potential for interactions to provide synergistic outcomes within the soil, and the goal is to select land management practices to ensure that this occurs.